question number 1 does adding heat always result in a rise of temperature question number 2 what is the heat that must be added to 20 kg of ice at 0 degree celsius same as 273.15 kelvin to convert all of it to water at 0 degree celsius latent heat of fusion of ice is given as 79.83 kilocalories per kg approximately 80 kilocalories per kg welcome enjoy so question number 1 is does adding heat always result in rise of temperature the answer is no not always when you go from ice at 0 degree celsius or 273.15 kelvin when you go from ice at 0 degree celsius to water at 0 degree celsius 273.15 kelvin When you go from ice at 0 degree celsius to water at 0 degree celsius you do have a phase change you do absorb heat but there is no rise in temperature there is no rise in temperature after all the ice has melted into water at 0 degree celsius then we will start to see rise of temperature now let us do question number 2 what is the heat that must be added to 20 kg of ice at 0 degree celsius 273.15 kelvin to convert all of it to water at 0 degree celsius without a change of temperature so what is the mass that we have mass is 20 kg and what is the latent heat of fusion it is 80 kilo calories per kg for each kg what is the heat that you have to add to the ice for each kg you have to add 80 kilo calories for each kg you have to add 80 kilo calories so what is the amount of heat that you have to add if you have 20 kg with you it will be 20 kg times 80 kilo calories per kg kg and kg cancels out so you get 20 times 80 and what is that 1600 and what is the unit kilocalories so this is the answer to question number 2 what is latent heat of fusion of ice it is the amount of heat that you have to add to convert from 1 kg of ice at 0 degree celsius which is 273.15 kelvin to water at 0 degree celsius 273.15 kelvin without a change of temperature but with a phase change you're going from solid ice to liquid water and this is george matthew signing off good luck